Computers are delicate and potentially dangerous pieces of electrical equipment. Do not try to open them without adult supervision. Oh, hello. Welcome to my computer lab. As you can see, in my spare time, I love lasering apart various computing devices to see what makes them tick. <laughs> CPU, more like CP pew pew pew! <laughs> uh, but you may be wondering, what exactly is a computer? Well, they can be described as any device that calculates and processes data. In fact, the word computer was first used in the mid-17th century to describe humans who were good at maths or one who calculates. However, computers have been around for much longer than that. The Antikythera mechanism is the first mechanical computer that we know of, which was used over 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece to precisely calculate the movements of our sun and moon. But of course, modern electronic computers are likely what comes to mind when you hear the term. Early versions of these electronic computers would fill entire rooms or even whole floors of buildings with chunky vacuum tubes and tons of metal parts. <laughs> but nowadays, we can squeeze more computing power out of something that fits neatly in your pocket. And as computers become smaller and more powerful, human civilization finds itself relying on them more every day. And now they're found almost everywhere on Earth and beyond. In fact, we're almost ready to completely take over the world. <laughs> uh, oh, did I say that out loud? Uh, uh, cut. Even though many computers look nothing alike, they all use a similar set of components. Since we're all gamers here, though, I'm going to use the trusty gaming PC or personal computer to show you what these components are. Uh, let's start with what you would consider to be the bones and central nervous system of any computer, the motherboard. What was that, Tarity Poos? Did you call? Ooh, negative. I was telling the spawnlings about motherboards, not mumbots. Ooh, is it that nice? Hello, Mrs. Motherboard. Or is it Miss? <laughs> Would you like some tea, dearie? Perhaps a spray of compressed air? Mrs. Miss Motherboard? Oh, she's not very talkative, is she? Mum, but you're embarrassing me. Get out of my room. Oh, dear. All right, then, my sweet little square root of pie. I'll get out of your way. It was nice meeting you, Miss Motherboard. Bye-bye. <coughs> Uh, now, where was I? Ah, yes. Motherboards are printed circuit boards that hold all the other computer parts in place and connect them together. You put your CPU here, your RAM here, graphics and other special cards here. Motherboards are also where you plug in everything from your keyboard and mouse to hard drives and the internet. And they distribute and regulate power to many parts from a power supply or battery. But a motherboard is far more than just a way to hold other parts. They're packed with literal information superhighways known as buses. These are much busier buses than the ones you may catch to school. These special connections carry billions of signals every second as they whiz around from part to part. I should point out that the term motherboard actually only applies to boards like this, which have these customizable slots. Consoles and other devices with fixed hardware refer to them as main boards. But while main boards may be far more common, I still like to think of every computer having their mother at their heart, connecting, powering, and helping each and every other part do its job. <sighs> Thanks, Mum. What was that, Tarity Warity? Did you call? No, Mumbot. <clears throat> uh, see you next time for a look at processors. <sighs> <laughs> 